Argyle Eagles. I'm Pamela Arrington here with an Argyle ISD Eagle update. I'm here today at Ropes and Ranch with Argyle High School's golf coaches. They're going to be giving you some updates on how the golf teams have been doing so far this year. Talk to you about some recent tournaments they've played in as well as the goals they've set in place for the school year. And then we have a special guest with us, Mr. Martinez, the director of golf here at Ropes and Ranch. I'd like to introduce you to the Argyle High School boys golf coach, Coach Vanderford. Coach Vanderford, talk to us a little bit about how great the boys golf team's doing this school year and the goals you've set in place for your team. Well, first of all, let me say it's been a blessing to, to be in Argyle. It's my first year in Argyle and uh, played in four tournaments this fall. Uh, we've won two of them, uh, including our most recent tournament. Uh, Logan Diamidi has uh, won two of the events this, this fall, which makes him have a total of seven over the last two years. Um, we also shot a, a tied a school record with a team total of 291 this past week. And uh, Logan also this past week broke a school record and shot an individual low score of 67. So our fall's been just uh, everything that we've expected. Uh, obviously our goal is, is for the spring events that we have with district, regional, and state. And uh, as it is with most years at, at Argyle, you know, we expect to be at the state tournament and do well there. And, and we set goals to win the state tournament. And uh, we would expect nothing less, so we're going to spend our winter trying to get ready to, to accomplish that goal. And, uh, you know, thanks to people as, such as Mr. Martinez and Ropes and Ranch, we've got a great place to prepare for that, and we'll spend our time here and hopefully accomplish that. Perfect. Well, thank you so thank much, you. Coach Vanderford, for the update. And now um, we're going to bring you an update on the girls' golf team. We have Coach Moses with us. Coach Moses, talk to us a little bit about how great the girls' golf team is doing this year and the goals you've set in place for your team. Well, first, I wanted to echo what uh, Coach said. This is uh, both of our first years here at uh, Argyle High School. We are just beyond grateful of just how welcoming the school district's been, the athletic department, both of our campuses that we're involved with, as well as the high school campus, just making us feel like we're right at home. So um, I'll tell you, it's great to be an Eagle. Um, the ladies, we played in four events. Now, we've... we've uh, taking on the challenge this year of playing a schedule more similar to what the boys have played this year. So we've we faced nothing but 5 and 6A competition in the four events we've played. Um, we've steadily improved our scoring average in each event that we played. Uh, a couple of weeks ago we went down to Granbury, finished fourth overall, had a couple of girls do very well individually in that, and then we finished up our fall season uh, this past Monday over at Denton Country Club where we actually um, ended up winning that tournament. We had two girls, two young ladies finish in the top five. So we've, uh, we've set some goals just like the boys have. We, we are very excited about the opportunity to compete in the spring. We will continue to challenge ourselves with our schedule. And um, the girls, we would like to get down to the state tournament. I believe the last time they were down there was in 2012. And these young ladies on our team feel like uh, they have the opportunity to make it down there um, them, themselves this year. So we are extremely blessed of of uh, being able to work with great students, great student athletes on two fabulous golf courses here in Argyle and uh, we're going we're gonna to continue to work to uh, prepare ourselves to, to meet that challenge. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Yes, thank you for being here thank with us you today. Much. And um, I know the Argyle High School golfers, both boys and girls teams, are not only exceptional athletes when they're out on the golf course, they are also great leaders at their school as well as great students in the classroom. So thank you so much for being here with me today, coaches. I'm now going to introduce you to a special guest, Mr. Martinez. He is the director of the golf courses here at Robeson Ranch. Mr. Martinez, talk to us a little bit about the great golf course you have here and all the different opportunities you have, not only for the students here in Argyle ISD, but as well as the community members. Really very fortunate because you've got two great coaches in Coach Vanderford and also Coach Moses. Having grown up in junior golf and played since I was five years old, I can tell you how dedicated they are to working with their team and helping them to achieve uh, achieve their expectations and the goals that they set for themselves and, and just how hard they're working to that. They're both great golfers. Uh, I didn't have a whole lot of that growing up, but I can tell you that they are extremely blessed to have these two coaches working with them. Uh, here at Ropes and Ranch, it's a Gary Stevenson golf course. I'm only about a month young here. Uh, it's 18 holes currently with nine more under development, hoping to open the next, next, the next nine next October. Uh, it's a link style community golf course, uh, relatively friendly, but it's a target golf course, so certainly that would lend toward the players having to hit the ball more accurately to score and perform as well as uh, they would hope to. Uh, but we're certainly fortunate and blessed to be a part of this community, grateful to have both of the teams out here practicing. Would like to invite parents, grandparents, come out and watch your kids play and certainly come back and play Ropes and Ranch. It's actually called Wild Horse Golf Club at Ropes and Ranch. So thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much That's for being here. My pleasure.
and Argyle Eagles. We'll have more updates on the Argyle High School golf teams on the district Facebook and Twitter. We'll also have an article coming to you in the next issue of Insights with information about the Robeson Ranch Golf Course. Thank you so much, Argyle ISD. I hope you have a great week.